Hi viewers, welcome to Heal Your Soul. Thank you for watching. So today's topic is message from the universe. You can take these messages as your guidance for your life for some time. It is this messages will resonate for your current energy okay so it's a pk card reading you need to choose one card which you are drawn towards but you if you want to go for multiple points you can because it, these are messages if you want to get more more messages you can choose multiple so let's get into the reading. File number one, who choose white pile? Messages from the universe. So file number one, the message is loving yourself. You need to learn how to love yourself. You need to practice self-love. It is a high time. No matter whether you are loving yourself or, or not, you are taking care of yourself or not, but I think it is a high time that is the reason universe is giving the message that it is very high time to take care of yourself. No matter how many people you cared for, how many people you shared your love and compassion, kindness to others. But now it is time to give yourself rather than giving to others. It's time to give yourself. You may be in the past. You are a person who is giving to others. You love to give others. You love to give that love, kindness, caring. You love to give. You love to share whatever you have with others. But it is a high time that you need to give this cup of love to yourself. Even though if people think that you are becoming selfish, let them think because it is a very high time i don't know what kind of situation you are right now but it is high time that this cup should be yours don't give this cup to anyone because more than anyone currently you need this cup for yourself So even though if you have people around you who need your care and love, forget about everything and everyone because first you should be there to take care of others, to show love to others, first you should be there. So here it is very high time that you should take care of yourself. Forget about that others will take care of you. Don't know. There may be people. It is not that there are no people around you there may be people people is there around you maybe your sister friends mother they will also take care of you but it is very high time you should take care of yourself or i can say that if you are looking for love it is a high time to learn self-love if you are expecting love from anyone expect that love from yourself that's why i'm telling you if you are expecting love from anyone and you want to give this cup of love to someone you want to offer if you are thinking to offer this cup of love to someone it is high time that offer this cup to yourself because i think you already emotionally drained you already giving up yourself whether you know it or not Sometimes subconsciously we give up on ourselves. We get emotionally drained. We don't care about ourselves. We don't we don't think about ourselves. Subconsciously we will do all. It will happen all these things in the background. But in the forefront we think that everything is good in our life. Everything is going good. So it is very important. Even though if you have people around you who are taking care of you, loving you, it is still, it is very important that self-love, doing self-love. Even though if you have people who are loving you, still you need self-love more than any other people's love. You need self-love. 
सो पाइल नंबर वन नो मैटर वॉट यू आर डूइंग वेदर यू आर वर्किंग यू आर नॉट वर्किंग इट इज़ वेरी हाई टाइम थिंक दैट यू आर ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पर्सन बिकॉज यू मे बी वेरी रेस्पॉन्सिबल पर्सन वेरी इमोशनल पर्सन हु वॉन्ट टू गिव टू अदर्स हु वॉन्ट टू शेयर गुड थिंग्स टू अदर्स हु वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड अदर्स बट इट इज अ वेरी हाई टाइम दैट बिकम लिटिल बिट सेल्फिश नथिंग रॉन्ग बिकॉज हियर द टाइम came to give this cup to yourself so become selfish if if people around you thinking that you became selfish don't give importance to those words or opinions just concentrate on yourself at least for 2 3 3 months 2 to 3 months give that whole time love compassion kindness care to yourself forget about everyone including your family be with your family it is not that go away from everyone it is simply that be with everyone be with your friends go out with your friends enjoy do everything whatever you are doing but if you want to show love kindness whatever care before showing to anyone it is very high time that you need to show it for yourself and i it, it is very important that you better practice some self love self care affirmations which will give you a lot of confidence i think here you lost that confidence here you are feeling unworthy maybe you got some problems or you may there is a situations where in that in that situations no matter how strong we are how independent we are we will get some triggers we will be having some triggers if you are not if we are not working on those triggers we will feel that we are unworthy we no matter how beautiful we may be we feel that we are not looking good maybe it is happening to you you are feeling like that you are unworthy or you are not looking good or you are not important to anyone this kind of negative thoughts may be surrounded to you that's why universe is telling you to take care of yourself give that love to yourself practice self love affirmations that is very important for you because most of the time when i say self love mostly people are asking how, how we can do self love there are so many ways to do self love just pampering yourself taking out yourself go for dinner go for lunch you don't need anyone literally you don't need anyone when i am telling go for a dinner lunch you no need anyone you just go alone and eat whatever you want wherever your heart is asking go there spend time there alone you no need to take opinions of others and all you just do whatever you want that is also one kind of self love give that importance to yourself first thing and if you are feeling that you are not looking good you are not uh, worthy of anything forget about that do something which will give you that confidence that you are also worthy person see and if you are still alive means you are a worthy person and you have some purpose on this planet so if you are still alive means there is a purpose for you so you are not unworthy because you are here to here for some purpose that is why you are here if you are really unworthy you won't be here you will become non living entity not the living entity so if you are still alive means there is a purpose for you even non living entities also they will be having some purpose which is not fulfilled that's why they are around us here you are still there means there is a purpose for you you need to learn something for that purpose there is a some different way for you to come in that path you need to learn all those things learn learning the self love self care doing some shadow work doing some inner work then you will come to know what is exact purpose of yourself so here as of now it is a self love do self love understand that you are also very important person no matter who who is giving that importance or not you need to give that importance to yourself whether someone is recognizing your worth or not it is a high time you should recognize your worth 
that's why self talk affirmations will work well possible you read the that self love affirmations self care self love affirmations in the morning evening or whenever you get the time if you even feeling very really you cannot do anything because of those negative thoughts because of the low self confidence self esteem issues you can write those self affirmations as an imposition it will work but anyway you need to give love to yourself so here the message from the universe is loving yourself don't expect love from anyone if, even though if you are getting love from others also no problem that's a good thing but it is very important that you need to love yourself more than anyone even though if you are getting love from others so let's move on to pile number 2 which is blue pile message from the universe so pile number 2 the message is no matter what kind of conflict you are going through with your own people it is time to stop it it is already i think from very long you are having some conflict with your own people you are having some i think you already won this battle also but the thing is here when we fight with our people our own people we may be own the battle but still we feel loser because we lost our we will lost that relationship that beautiful connections here same thing is happening you may be see here the thing is there is some kind of battle is going on and message from the universe is stop it stop participating in that battle stop continuing that battle it is a very high thing stop doing whatever you are doing because even though if you are win you are going to lose the, those beautiful people or connections even though if they are not beautiful here you will lose your mental mental peace if they are not beautiful or beautiful connections or beautiful people also because of this battle you are going to lose your mental peace so it is very high time for you to stop this battle so message from the universe is whatever is happening in your circle in your network because it is not regarding one person it is this group of people is there i i think already you won the battle or there are high chances that you are going to win the battle you are the winner but the thing is even though if you are going to win the battle if you are losing also there are nothing wrong because see if you are going to lose the battle you are not going to lose anything if you are winning the battle you are not going to lose anything because here no one is earning nothing from this battle no one is gaining anything it is simply giving mental tensions to everyone who ever involved in this so i think this battle is happening because of your egos or because of your misunderstandings which are it is a waste of things it won't gain anything you you are not going to gain anything or they are not going to gain anything it simply spoil the relationships or connections even though if you really don't want the relationships also connections also it is it doesn't mean that you need to fight for it you just you can just move on if you really we don't want some people in our life we feel that they are not good for us it is simply we can move on from them no one will stop us it is our life we should take the decisions where we need to when we need to be where we should not be so here i think not just you people who are who ever involved in this everyone forgot that if you are really not getting with each other if you are people are feeling ego clashes or misunderstandings as simple as it is that you can move on your own path and lead your life as you want but here no one is doing that everyone is ready to ready for the battle and i think you are you already the winner or you are going to win the win this battle but what is the use of winning also because you are not winning anything if you lose also if they lose also they are not gaining anything 
it is a waste of thing it is simply creating mental conflict for everyone whoever in one no matter for what you are doing this battle this five of swords is simply like fighting for something which is unworthy or which is really nothing is there just like ego ego clashes just misunderstandings where people will have some different kind of misunderstandings because of they ready to fight with each other because of that they ready to spoil those beautiful connections or if someone is doing good it will become ego those ego istic behaviors will create this kind of battles there also you are not going to gain anything they are also not gain, going to gain anything it simply create mental tension it simply take your mental peace no one will be sleep peacefully because of this battles because swords means it simply affect our mental health these are mental conflicts mental battle that's why it is ego or misunderstandings it is not like really you are taking swords or fighting it is just with words you are doing this fighting in the air with words because of those words whoever involved in that everyone will get hurt and they lose their mental peace it is very high time to leave this five of swords and move forward in your life the which is six of swords moving to the calmer waters getting your mental peace moving leaving past behind and moving towards some calmer waters where you can get that mental peace so pile number 2 whatever you are doing stop doing it even though they are doing at least you stop participating in that battle because it is it will you are not going to gain anything as i said it will simply ruin your mental health so stop doing it it is it is see there are minimum five people is there because it is five absorbs so everyone you cannot control everyone and you cannot tell everyone because if they listen if you can control there won't be any ba battle here no one is agreeing with each other but you can control yourself right you cannot control the people you cannot control the situation but you can you can control yourself you can control your brain your mind so that is very important for you whether those people are controlling themselves or not those people are having their mental peace or not that's a different story let them do it by them for them you don't worry about that you just worry about your mental peace because here you are suffering they are also suffering they are also not that they are enjoying they are also suffering you are also suffering but taking care of your mental health is your responsibility taking care of their mental health is their responsibility so here you are watching the reading that's why i'm telling you leave everything behind and just concentrate on yourself and just do things which will make you peace which will keep you peace in your life don't entertain this kind of situations and people if you think that they are a very good people you people had so much good connections but still currently you are going through some ego battles or misunderstandings give some time give some time because immediately sometimes we cannot solve the conflicts immediately because everyone will be in their own egos everyone won't come won't calm down so it is we can only do the thing is leaving them and moving forward here you need to do that forget about them for some time leave them behind move forward look for your mental peace work for your mental peace do what makes you peaceful do what keeps you happy once some time will happen after passing some time everyone will understand things will get better then you can be together again if they are really beautiful connections the time will descend universe will descend now as of now the current message for you is leave all these things you did not you wasted lot of time and you wasted your mental peace whatever is happened leave everything behind
and move to the calmer water where you can find peace so just concentrate on your mental peace if it is possible do meditation that will also but see when i said do meditation it doesn't mean that do meditation for morning 20 minutes half an hour and again you go to these people and again do badly <laughs> nothing will work okay first you keep yourself out of these conflicts out of these battles okay first you separate from this kind of situations after that do some meditation walk in the nature have some time with pets kids where you will feel mental peace where you will feel peaceful if you are doing all those things and again you are coming back to same kind of people it won't work out keep yourself away from those kind of patterns let's move on to pile number three which was red pile so what is the message from the universe so pile number three the message is you need to let go of your past no matter how painful it is it is very painful to leave something behind your back and moving forward but if you want to move forward in your life to see something new or get something new it is very important to leave something behind which is no more serving you whether it is a conflict whether it is a, it is a job whether it is a place whether it is a relationship whether it is a, some kind of friends friendships you need to do that i think here you already decided that you already it is not like five of swords which is just now i spoke it is like six of swords you already decided even you mentally decided that you need to leave something mentally you are prepared but it is painful so you are still thinking whether you need to do that or not because it is painful you are obviously see letting go of past we will say that let go of the past it is very easy to tell but it is very hard to do that when we are doing it in actions it is very difficult no matter whether it is a person relationship job or place when we want to leave something because we will have that kind of attachments so here you may be having so many attachments but the thing is they are not serving you they are giving you lot of tension if you stay in the same situation they will create so much mental conflicts to you you will disturb mentally and you are no you are not going to see anything new in your life or not going to achieve anything new if you want to stick with your old things so it is very high time the message is it is very high time to let go of the past if you are in a relationship where it is very bad you had a very ba bad conflicts or fight with your partner and when it is re when you will get the chance to reunion or work on those re that relationship again it is a very high time to leave that past pain you should forget about that past pain or at least here you don't have any chance to reconciliation you want to move on from that relationship that time also it is very painful to leave relationships because we will be having some kind of atta attachment those beautiful memories but here you need to do that no matter how painful it is then only you can move to some new destination then only you can meet some new people or at least in the same relationship also if you want if you want to continue that relation first you need to forget about all those past pains past fights whatever is bad things happen then only you can start something new in that relationship if you keep going with the same old past pains you are not going to work on that relationship because again you will bringing that baggage to your future present and future you should never be bring your baggage to your future you should leave that baggage in the past only here it is very high time to do that no matter how painful even though if they are friends you think that they are not good for your life 
and it is a time you understood that they are not good for your life or they are not trustworthy you understood that actually the thing is here you got the you understood the situation what you need to leave why you need to leave but thing is here you are feeling painful to leave that things you you are feeling painful because of that attachment so here message is don't give up you need to let go of that past and you need to move forward whatever decision you made to move forward that decision is the right decision you need to continue on that decision you should not give up even if you want to start some kind of new lifestyle also because your old lifestyle whatever you were doing routines or lifestyle those are not serving it is very high time that you need to move on and you understood that here i'm strongly getting that you got that point that whatever is there in your life that is not serving you and it is very high time to move on you understood that but the thing is here you are feeling painful to live in that past so the message from the universe is no matter how much painful you are feeling it is a high time to move on maybe in the past you did the same thing because in the past also you have idea that this is not serving you still because of this pain because of this attachment you stuck in the same position because you don't want to leave it maybe in the past you failed to move on that's why again universe is sending this message that this time don't give up move forward no matter how painful it is you if you move forward you will see the new life new direction new destination everything will be new you can start your life in a new way there's a chance that you have that chance to start your life in a new way which you deserve because whatever situation you are currently that is not serving you even you know that it is not hiding from it hiding from you 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 even you are aware of that whatever situation you are in that is not serving you and you deserve better things in your life you understood that but because of your attachments because of your fear to let go of or pain to let go of fear yeah fear of that pain everyone will be having that pain when we are leaving something behind no matter how strong that person will be they they feel that pain so everyone will be having that pain but because of that pain we should not stick on the same position we should not stick with the same things which are not serving so here you maybe did it in the past you did you stick you stuck in the same position just to to avoid this pain now you don't do that you should not do that that's why in the message it came you you no matter how hard you may feel no matter how painful you may feel no matter how lonely you may feel because here no one is coming with you even though if you are feeling that after taking moving on you will be lonely still you need to do it because after reaching your destination once you will find the people who deserves you who is good for you not just people whatever you are getting in the next destination those things are worthy for you you are worthy for those things not with the things which you are stuck so don't stuck i can say that the only message is move on no matter what is happening you know how painful it is just move on let's move on to pile number 5 sorry 4 message from the universe So, pile number four. The message from the universe is finally you are going to reach your ten of pentacles. No matter how long you are working hard, you may be really waiting, eagerly waiting for this kind of stability, this kind of happiness, happy family, where you will be having stability and people, honest people. and one happy family with 
kids and pets with the beautiful things around you with loving connections finally you are going to receive that currently you may be in the 9 of pentacles position and universe message is that one pentacle is going to add which will make you 10 of pentacles it is a beautiful card so pile number 4 whoever choose don't worry i think you don't worry because it is nine of pentacles is not worrying card it, it will it is like enjoying your own company with whatever you have with your independence with your financial stability everything and here the message is one more coin is going to add in that nine of pentacles which will make you complete person or complete which will give you complete stability which you are looking for long term it is like a success if you are working for your life from very long time from one from the pentacle one it is a time that you are coming to the position where it will be 10 of pentacles i think you already in the 9 of pentacles then only you will become in the 10 of pentacles it is like if you are a single here simple simply means that you are going to get married in a stable where that marriage will give you one stable life where you will be stable with your connections relationships financially also you will get stable you will be having stability in all the areas of your life not just one part of your life ten of pentacles means complete stability complete stability which cannot be shaken if you are already married it simply means if you are lacking something in your life if you are looking for more stability as a financial wise or if you are having little bit of disturbances in your connections the message from the universe is you are coming out of all those things you are finally reaching that satisfaction or complete stability or one strong stability in your family life so if you are at all you are worrying about some disturbances also if you are married still if you are feeling like a single person or uh, that's why because of disturbances if you are feeling single if you are having any kind of loneliness or if you are feeling some lack of money those problems are going to go away those obstacles will go away and you feel complete stability you feel you will receive that stability whatever stability you are looking for that stability will be come finally i can say that because ten of reaching ten of pentacles is not an easy thing you may be working hard from long so finally the message is fine you are going to receive whatever you are hard work you are you done in the past those hard work is going to pay off finally it is a time that where you can relax sit and relax and enjoy your time with happy time with your family and pets and kids you know need to do anything because you will be having that stable life because you already worked hard you are going to see that beautiful happy family without any disturbances without any obstacle no more obstacles that is the message from the universe so pile number 4 here there is a no suggestion whatever you are doing i think you are in nine of pentacles be in that position okay be happy with yourself that one pentacle is going to add anyway so just whatever you are doing continue doing that be that independent happy person very soon you are going to receive your ten of pentacle life so let's move on to pile number 5 who choose green pile message from the universe so pile number 5 
message from the universe is i think you need to stop partying if we are going out partying doing partying drinking any kind of masti i mean fun loving time it is good to have the fun time but i think here you are overdoing it where you forgot your responsibilities so it is high time to leave those things behind and take look at your responsibilities be a responsible person i think because of your party life you are not taking care of anything or anyone you just become like a irresponsible person so it is message from the universe is give up all this party life leave some friends who are not good for you and concentrate on your responsibilities it is a very high time because these things whatever you are doing currently those things are taking you in the wrong path or at least those things are making you a irresponsible person where you will lose your life or people who is important in your life so lately if you are enjoying parties going out with friends having drinks having fun time more than your work time it is very important message for you that stop doing all those things that fun time will come next again but currently you need to concentrate on your work life personal life which is your family because here you are completely out of your family life and professional life you are completely indulge yourself in overly not just normally it is like reverse means overly indulging yourself in party drinking having fun okay so you need to stop this the message from the universe is stop doing all those nonsenses okay so doing <laughs> partying is not nonsenses but overdoing it is definitely nonsense now you are losing your life here you are losing your less responsibilities you are spoiling your life you need to concentrate on your life doing once in a while weekly once is okay but continuously you are indulging yourself in this kind of things when you will concentrate on your work when you will be concentrate on your family so here you you are you almost forget about your work your family and everything you are doing your own things which is not good for your health also here you are going to lose your health also so the message is stop doing whatever stupid things you are doing because here i am sensing lot of stupid things so stop doing that like doing me taking alcohol drugs having fun with if you are a man you are having fun with two men if you take as it resonates okay having sex with random people which is not good for your health also so stop doing this come out of all those nonsenses and take care of your life take that steering of your life in your own hands because you here you are not driving your life you are going in different path you are moving in different path so the message is come out of this take care of your work and take care of your family responsibilities if you have family even though if you are single you will be having parents right parents siblings people will be there in our life at least close friends who will take care of us so it is very high time to come out of all those things you did lot lot of fun you had lot of fun in your life <laughs> finally it is time to take some responsibilities time to think about your work think about your family so this is a message if you continue this whatever you are doing right now it will lead you to lot of 
health issues because overly taking alcohol will lead to lot of health issues overly are doing sex with random people also give you so many problems pleasure is a different thing you will be having so many problems in your life so health issues also health issues problems disturbances mental peace you will lose everything so it is very high time to come out of all those things and take care of your life take care of your professional life as well as personal life It's a good thing, yar. Who is this pile number five? You are enjoying a life like anything, but this for short time it is okay. But I think you are doing this from very long time. You are spending more than what you should be. That's why message from the universe is come out of this mode, come out of this party mode, and have some responsibilities. If you are forgot, come out and take your responsibilities. So, by number five, you know, overly partying also it is boring. So, thank you, <laughs> thank you for watching. Yes, for me it is very boring. Okay, having fun, having partying weekly once is okay, but forgetting everything, only indulging ourselves, all those things means it is like a boring. We should have different things to. motivate ourselves to keep alive ourselves so anyway thank you for watching for more readings you can like and subscribe for personal readings you can mail me you will find the details in description box